can I have to do a smorgasbord? Oh, hell yeah. You don't want to be here, too. Nah, you never smoke. Actually, what I'll do is I'll scoot back a bit, too, so we can all see each other. Nah, he's right here. Does that work? Does that work for you guys? Yeah? Sure, that's better. Yeah, so we get a little... which were, you know, some people are in the middle of COVID and some people are on the other side of it and it's all over the place. So with that, we could just open all the windows and let that cold air come right on in or not. So it's up to you. No. Um, <laughs> well, that's right. I forgot the, uh, the instruments might, might go out of tune if we do such things. But anyway, I just wanted to welcome you and acknowledge that everyone's coming from a different place. And super thrilled you're all here. And I'm also going to welcome the folks who are tuning in online. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I know some people really uh, just would rather be at home right now, and that's fine too. So um, I'm super thrilled to be welcoming Loud Weather. Um, this is their first show ever, so let's give them a good <laughs>
tonight, we've decided that we're going to create the atmosphere of a Kaylee. An old, an old, not a dancing Kaylee like you hear about. Although, we'd love for you to dance if you, yeah, if you want to dance. Like, absolutely, get up and dance. It is, a lot of it is dance music, so get up and dance, you know, if you want to, totally. But, um, but yeah, like the, an old style of Kaylee, which was just hanging out, playing tunes and singing songs with people and stuff like that. And so, in that spirit, like, feel free to yell, you know, if you feel moved, you know. You could, you could go, you know, you go, you could. Or it, it need not be quite so effusive, you can just mutter yourself. Which would be a more traditional response, I think, actually. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Well, now that that's out of the way. A few tunes. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, all right, we're going to continue here with um, some jigs. We started off with a jig there um, at a fair clip, and then we went in some reels at uh, an even fairer clip. Um, uh, blew the blew the cold waves away, or blew the socks away. Um, we're going to, as I say, continue here. The first tune's uh, a tune of my own, which uh, I wrote for a couple of cats. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mistopheles, I believe. Yes, that's right. <laughs> they made a movie about it. It didn't do very well. But um, the, uh, the, uh, it's called Lily and Lionel, and they're very nice cats. I don't normally like cats, but they, they were very nice ones. We uh, house sat and cat sat briefly. And, and Lily and Lionel makes a very good jig rhythm. Lily and Lionel, Lily and Lionel. So, oh my God! There you are. <laughs> There's depth to it. Oh, so, so much. There's depth. So much. Lyrics. Yeah. Lyrics. And lyrics. lyrics. So you can yeah. sing along. So sing along. Like. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we follow that with a, a great tune that's played both in Scotland and Ireland uh, called Bros and Butter. And I think uh, Bros is um, a kind of concoction mostly comprised of oatmeal and, and butter. So, Although we like to imagine that it's just a bunch of bros, like really loud and butter, <laughs> sort of, you know, shirt, maybe wearing like speedos and just covered in butter. So you can picture that while we play. Food stuff or, that tune. or, or both, you know. And um, <laughs> yes, cover your ears. Yes. <laughs> we finish off with a tune called "Not in a Bag or a Sack," which is a very old tune and Kahurmian. Uh, Kakurmium Pop Nabala. And it translates as not in a bag or a sack. It was probably a song at one point, but we don't know what the words were. We only have the, the title left, so there must have been a good story attached. We'll never know. Yeah. You want drones for this? If you like. For this first. What, what are we going into? The oh, yeah, yeah. Banner. <laughs> Maybe no drones for that one. Alright. Yeah, okay. I'll let you guys just carry on.
That's Eamon Sefton on the guitar. <laughs> Two six eight marches. Yeah. Six eight marches are a lovely genre of music in in Scottish uh, traditional music um, that, um, that just don't get played all that much in America. Um, and I'm not really sure why, but I really hope that you guys like these tunes and maybe even that you learn them at some point so that we can all play them together one day. All of us. <laughs> Every single one. That sounds more dramatic. <laughs> so I'll dance to it. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, exactly. And actually, the first tune was written by your... Yeah, my old piping tutor, actually. Um, I used to play the pipes. Um, but... Um, he's actually really, really good at them still. Secretly. But, um, <laughs> but I, had a I had a very good teacher um, called Ian, Ian Morrison, pipe major Ian Morrison. I uh, used to be a uh, pipe major in the Queen's Own Highlanders, actually. Um, and he's from back, which is about... Two mile, two or three miles down the road from where I'm from. I'm Which from is, he's from front. Yes. <laughs> good, very good. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they pay me the bucks. That's right. <laughs> Keep me up my toes tonight. Uh, I'm from uh, an island called Lewis, which is in the, the Outer Hebrides. Yeah. Yeah. The Outer Hebrides in Scotland. Yeah, north of Harris, yeah. Lewis and Harris. Uh, they're beautiful, beautiful parts of the world. You went to the standing stones at Clarish. Oh yes, I mean, yes, of, of course. They're, they're the kind of other side of the island from where I'm from. Tongues on the, the <coughs> east side of the island, as mm -hmm. is back. Um, so he, he wrote this for uh, one of his um, one of his friends that he served with in the army, uh, called Peter Eckwood. In fact, to give him his right name, Lieutenant Colonel Sir Peter Eckwood. <laughs> um, and uh, we're following that with a tune by Peter MacLeod, who is a, a, another great composer from Lewis. Um, <coughs> Peter McLeod, I was just doing some research on him a few weeks ago, and he he was uh, he fought in um, World War One as a very very young man. Uh, I think he was 19 or something, and 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 then he and then he came back um, from it, and he he made it through unscathed, which in itself is kind of a miracle considering World War One. Um, but he but he came back and he moved to Glasgow and he worked in in the shipyards there, and he actually got his leg caught in a machine, and it totally like like ru like ru broke his leg, ruined his leg. And he spent the rest of his life in terrible pain, um, having made it through the Great War and then having this shipbuilding accident. And so he would he would be awakened by his pain very early in the morning, like four or five, in, you know, in the morning. And he would um, and he would go up to his attic and he would just just sort of like uh, shuffle around and, and write pipe tunes up there because um, it was really hard for him to to like sit still. So he wrote a, re a ton of really good pipe tunes, and this one was for his uh, grandson, um, Kenneth oh. Kenneth J. McLeod. So. So it's just amazing, amazing to think about somebody writing beautiful, just gorgeous music. This tune for me, Kenneth Jamie Cloud, has so much love in it and so much just sweetness and care for, for, his, for his young grandson. And so just think about somebody in that kind of pain, just writing music that's so full of love. It's just an incredible, beautiful. That's the, the second tune here. Yeah, we're, the second uh, tune. We're right. starting off with uh, Peter Egwood here. Not to confuse the two. <laughs> Oh, that's right, we've got an intro for you. A bonus intro. Oh, nice. The intro's nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, one, two, three.
Murray Huggins, if, if you're watching online down in Medford, Murray, Murray taught me how to play the pipes, and um, he taught me that tune many, many years ago, and I had no idea what a great tune it was until I learned other tunes, and they weren't as good. <laughs> a song called uh, Sweet Lemony, um, and this song has just been um, just really getting me lately, so we thought we'd give it a try. Take this off. This is the sweet and gentle portion of the show. Never fear, the raging will return. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy it when it lasts. <laughs> The fields and the meadows, they look so green and gay. The small birds were singing so pleasantly adorned bright early in the morning at the break The lark is a taking her flight all in the air on yonder green bower the turtle doves are blue. The sun is just a glimmering around my
could my true love, how could she vanish from me? And how could she go where I'll never see her more? It was her cruel parents that looked so slightly on me. And all for the white rose that I was used to have. As I was walking one fine summer's morning the fields and the meadows, they look so green and gay. The small birds were singing so pleasantly adorned. Bright early in the morning at the break of That's how I spell my name when I write yeah. my signature. Right, 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 right. Um, right. Oh. oh, yes. This was the set of tunes that started it all. We uh, we got together in New York uh, last year sometime. I live in New York now. Um, Elias came to visit, and we put together a set of tunes. Um, uh, a whole bunch of them. Four tunes, in fact. Um, the last of which we got from a friend of ours, Alan MacDonald, who found it in a very obscure old manuscript, and it was just called Isla Strathspey, so meaning a Strathspey from Isla. Isla's where they make all the whiskey, it's part of the Inner Hebrides. And uh, it's a Strathspey, but we turned it into a reel, because um, we needed a reel to finish the set. And it works, it, happily, it works very nicely as a reel. Um, and a few other tunes in there. We start with a tune called The Henwife's Daughter, and then go into another tune called Earl Marshall Keith's. And the uh, the third tune is, we, we, I'm sure you're all very aware of the fact that we string tunes together in sets. So all our tunes are very short, so we make, string them together to make larger pieces of music. Well, that's the idea, anyway. And one of the tunes here, the third tune, is called The Strathbogie Toast. <laughs> Which is a fantastic oh, tune name, so we call this set Bogey Toast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bogey. Yeah, Bogey. Bogey Toast. Bogey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Strath Bogey. <laughs> Strath Bogey, uh, like, uh, Bogey is, uh, the, the, the Bogey is a, a river. So uh, you'll find oh. that all around kind of Strath Bay region, oh. Strath Bay region and Murray, the Murray region as well. So Strath mean, meaning a river valley. So Strathbogie. Oh, wow. And the Bogie River is actually sort of a, a green sort of snot <laughs> colour, which is where it gets, <laughs> gets its name from. It's not really, it's very nice. I'd like to write a children's book called The Strathbogie Toast, you know, about a piece of toast. <laughs> who keeps picking his nose. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be lovely. Yeah. yeah.
Unless he's going to go and change his drones. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is. He actually is. Very fancy. Uh, I'm going to play a, a, a slow air just now, which is written by another piper, uh, a guy called John McClellan from Dunoon. He's from the Cowell Peninsula in Scotland. And uh, he's just kind of renowned for being an all round good guy. Uh, he was a fantastic piper, a fantastic composer. He was a painter, he wrote words to all his songs, you know. He was a bit of a renaissance man, um, and uh, as I say, a renowned piper, wrote lots of tunes, and he wrote this tune called uh, The Maids of Judah. And uh, if you go up the hill out the back of Dunoon, you can sometimes look across the water to the Inner Hebrides, and of which Judah is a part. And Judah has a couple of hills. They're sometimes called the Paps of Judah, but he called them the Maids of Judah. They're sometimes known as the Maids of Judah. And on a clear day, if you're up in that hill, you can see right across to them if it's a, a lovely kind of still clear day. So I think that's uh, what inspired him to write this. It's a, just a beautiful tune. <laughs>
That's Alistair Wright on the fiddle. <laughs> Um, and and they're they're so called after the borders region of Scotland. But actually, I don't really play borders music, and and most of the people that play this style of bagpipes learned on the Highland pipes, which is what I learned on, and then desired to play music with other human beings, <laughs> and so, uh, had to learn an instrument that was just a bit smaller and quieter and in a more friendly key. And so and so the border pipes have become quite popular recently with people like me that that are um, friendly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, and so, and so, and so, yes. So they're they're uh, they're just. I, I pump the the bellows here to fill them up with air, um, and 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 they're actually the safest form of bagpipes because, as you can see, I have both a seatbelt and an airbag. So you're okay. <laughs> Um, never heard that <laughs> anyway, we're gonna finish out the we're gonna finish out the first half. <laughs> yes. How do you turn it on and off? <laughs> well, first I have to plug it in. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, how do I turn it on and off? Why isn't it making noise right now? Oh well, yes. Um, because it's there's no air. There's no air coming yeah. through it. Yeah. So I just then I I, I just, well this is curved over and then I pull this. And then it, you know, you know, and then this has a switch. Yeah. Yeah. How did you make it stop? What key is it? Uh, well, you know, A, D, um, yeah, various. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna take a, a little break so we can all have another glass of whatever and become very happy. And then we'll come back for the second <laughs> half. Happy year. And then, and then we'll come back for the second half, and we'll have a whole another second half, and it's gonna be a party. Um, and um, we have some CDs here, unfortunately not of Loud Weather yet, but we have uh, some some CDs of the Bywater Band, which is a, the, the group that Eamon and I formed uh, years ago in, in Boston. I know that a lot of you are familiar with that already, um, but I will remind you that Christmas is coming up, and an album of innovative Celtic music makes a very good Christmas gift. Impress all your friends. With your knowledge of obscure music. Yes. Um, all right. Right. Anyway, we're going to start with a tune called Miller's Quick Step, which is an, a lovely, like, old, old uh, quick step that I sort of made into a bit of a slow step. Um, and then we'll play some stress bass and then some, and then some tunes. That's about it. Yeah. Cool.
Hit it, I blow over it. So oh, I, see, I, take the, okay. I have to yeah, find yeah. it for you because yeah, yeah. the blowing so no, cool. fine on this. Welcome back! To a tune um, by a John Mc John A John McClellan. It's called My Hometown. Is and it A like A period John McClellan or some? No, someone one named the, one John McClellan. One of the many John, <laughs> John, <laughs> John McClellans. <laughs> but the same John McClellan as wrote uh, the, the Maids of Judah that I've got from Lewis. Well, he was actually uh, from no. Uh, uh, Danun. Yeah, he's okay. from Danun, Argyle, but his parents were from Jura, um, and so he went back there quite a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, the snuff wife. He, oh, yeah. And, uh, he, 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 and then <laughs> Danny's birthday, <laughs> number, which I hope I can remember. Yeah. Ah, we didn't go over that one. <laughs> no. All right, flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> 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 You want to play my hometown first? Sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'll come in. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> <laughs> sort of.
that tune the other day, and we, and we, and we never heard it. We never reviewed it. <laughs> oh, what are we doing now? Oh, perfect. Love this. Yes. Can I maybe? Can I take this moment maybe to just? Um, I keep people asking me what, where does the name Loud Weather come from? Yes. Yes. Where's the Loud Weather? Yes. People keep asking where the name Loud Weather comes from, and it comes from. And Ali found this name, Alistair White. Alistair White. Yeah. Found this. yeah. yeah. Found, found the name in this in this lovely poem by Seamus Heaney, and so now I shall recite to you the poem. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the it's called the Given Note. Kaylee Atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> On the most westerly blasket. In a dry stone hut. He got this air. Out of the night. An air is a tune, right? We got we we know this. Okay. He got this air out of the night. Strange noises were heard by others who followed. Bits of a tune coming in on loud weather. Mm. Though nothing like melody. He blamed their fingers and their ear as unpracticed, their fiddling easy. For he had gone alone into the island and brought back the whole thing. The house throbbed like his full violin. So whether he calls it spirit music or not, I don't care. He took it out of the wind, off mid-Atlantic. Still, he maintains, from nowhere. It comes off the bow gravely, rephrases itself into the air. It's about a tune called called Porsche Napuki, which we're not playing tonight, but we are allowed weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to continue here with a quick step. Um, a quick step's just a, an old kind of march, basically. And um, although this was uh, recently composed by a friend of ours, Alan McDonald, is a remarkable musician from uh, Glenuig in uh, Moidart in Scotland. The Moidart Peninsula in Scotland is part of Loch Aber. And uh, the, uh, Loch Nambarn is, is, is very picturesque. It's only accessible by a, a track going from, I think, um, it's Glenuig, Roshvin, um, just near a little village near Glenuig. If you trek over the hills, you overlook this loch, and the loch itself overlooks the small isles, which are uh, muck, rum, and egg, which are just south oh, yeah. of Sky. So it's part of the Inner Hebrides, so they're known as the small islands. And picture. if you beat up muck, rum, and egg, they make a great omelette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Don't look at me like that. No. It was meant to be encouraging. Yes, Ruth the Wachner Barnes.
fun. Carpet. Ooh. Yeah. This was the. This is our other big online sensation. <laughs> Over a hundred views. Oh, yeah. Oh, the way we kind of uh, the way we kind of started this was myself and Elias just uh, getting nerdy about tunes and just kind of taking them apart and putting them back together and and getting very very uh, zoomed in, very granular about tunes and things like that. And this was one of the uh, one of the fruits of our labours. I don't know if you'd call them labours, but fruits of our um, Investigations. Yes. Yes. And it's called the White Houses of Shieldig. It's a it's a dance tune. It's just uh, it's an old reel, but there's a lot in it. Um, it's quite an interesting uh, little tune. Shieldig is um, on the mainland, just the other side of Sky from the Small Isles. So Shieldig. It started off, I think. Um, oh, I need to look up the the history of it, but it was. Um, uh, yeah, I'll look up the history. I don't want to tell, give you false information and then you go off and tell all of your friends and then find out it's wrong. So. start maybe together and then anyone yeah. will come in? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we had two days of rehearsal.
We're gonna we're gonna feature Eamon on this next one. Yeah! Yeah. It's gonna be me drinking a beer. The <laughs> dulcet <laughs> sounds. Actually, I'm gonna put the harmonium up here so we won't right, know you're right. Okay. Good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we have an awful lot of things up here, don't we? Oh yes, it's a harmonium. It's from the it's from my mom got it in India in the seventies. Oh. <clears throat> it was made in India? Yeah, yeah. It's from India. Uh, in the 70s. Is that the usual Irish instrument, is it? Or is it? Um, not really, yeah. No, it's, yeah, it was actually brought to India by uh, the British um, colonial, um, well, they, it was missionaries. They were right. trying to, they were trying to do organ, like church organ music, but then, then, um, <coughs> Indian, Indian folks, like, took it in and made their own thing out of it, which is awesome, so, um, Yeah, she got in India in the 70s, and it was just in my house my whole life. And then one day I was like, oh, I bet I could use this to accompany traditional songs. <laughs> and newly composed songs as well. And, and newly composed songs as well. So Eamon is an amazing pop uh, songwriter and producer. sing a song that I wrote uh, called Cloudy Skies. I think I wrote it back in who knows when, before 2020, whatever it was. <laughs> One of those years. Before you were in loud weather. That's right. Cloudy true. Sky. True. Oh! Yeah. Woo! Oh. <laughs> I, I, I cloaked that. I didn't want to see. But, yeah. Well, actually this song does kind of have a story uh, that's relevant to Elias, which is that um, is this song about me? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you decide. You're telling me right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The answer is yes. <laughs> well, you to my We we went down to uh, this this great uh, Highland Games festival in North Carolina called Grandfather Mountain Highland Games. Um, I was going through a lot of, uh, you know, relationship stuff, and there were some people with us there that I was very infatuated with, and so I, there was this moment, and I was dancing with these, this person um, to Alistair Fraser and Natalie Haas, you might have heard of them, they're great musicians, and um, there was this big, like, storm cloud going across the sky. Do you remember that? I do. And it was, like, full of, like, lightning and, yeah. like, thunder, it was in the distance. Incredible. And I, I was like dancing with this person, and there's this cloud, and I just remember that cloud, and I like went home and I wrote the song. And, uh, so it's it's um, yeah, it's. I'll just sing it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> We're hearing that this for the first time. Yeah, but I do remember dancing with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
just have a couple more here, but can I just say that it's just such an utter joy to make music with these two gentlemen up here. I just love them each so yeah. much. I just, I met Eamon many years ago. We've known each other for a long time. We've played a lot of different bands together and I'm just so happy that we're, that we're here and we're all grown up. Yep. And, and we're doing this, and you know, and you know, Ali was somebody that I just really admired for a really long time as a musician, and never thought I'd get a chance to play with. And here we are playing together, and that just is yeah. so great. Yeah. And I think I can speak for Eamon here as well when we say we quite like Elias too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, didn't mean to get so emotional there. But... <laughs> that's that's like Oregon emotion versus Lewis emotion right there. Uh, reminds me of the joke. Um, uh, did you hear about the, the the Scotsman that loved his wife so much he almost told her? <laughs> it doesn't normally go very well go over very well on the West Coast. <laughs> Some old favourites for you. Sing along if you know them. Boys of Ballymote, the Lark in the Mud, and uh, Inspector Donald Ins Campbell of Ness. Yeah. Classics, every Classic. one of them. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know this for sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we actually get a wee sing along here, going, you know. One, two, three, four.
We've come to the last set of the night. Oh. Chaps. Yes, I, I have, I have, I have, I have another poem. <laughs> We've not come to the last set of the night. <laughs> I want to read this poem because tonight we're in a room together in Portland, Oregon, and we're playing traditional Scottish music for the most part. Um, and if we if we yes. look at that with the eyes of an alien, that might seem a bit weird. Good song title, though. The eyes of an alien. <laughs> there never be Eamon's eyes, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. That's gonna um, be a thing. Or... <laughs> okay, so um, I want to read this poem because this poem is about. Um, this poem is about, about the rights that we have or do not have to land and to culture. Um, and I think it's a revolutionary poem because the central statement of the poem is that, well, I'll read the poem to you. This poem is by Kathleen Jamie and it's inscribed <coughs> on the memorial at Bannockburn in Scotland. And Bannockburn is where the, um, the, battle, uh, of, the Battle of Bannockburn took place in 1314, which was when Robert the Bruce uh, defeated um, King Edward II of England and, and liberated Scotland for, for that period of time. Um, and and uh, so it was a place where the rights to, to, uh, to this land was fought over, to the rights to the land of Scotland, the rights to be there and, uh, and to have freedom and, and to have um, agency and, and belonging there. And, um, and this poem is, is, on, is on that memorial. And, and for it to be there, I think, is just a revolutionary statement. So here it is. Here lies our, our, and if you're familiar with Scottish music, you'll get some of these references to songs in here. Here lies our land, every ert, beneath swift clouds, glad glints of sun, belonging to none but itself. Belonging to none but itself. We are mere transients who sing its westland winds and ferny braes, its northern lights and siller tides. Small folk playing our part. Come all ye, the country says. You win me who take me most to heart. You win me who take me most to heart. And I think that the idea that the land or that music or that culture belongs to those who take it most to heart and who love it the most and who give it time and dedication is really true and so um, I think that no matter where you come from this music can belong to you and can be part of your life and can be a source of energy and renewal and inspiration for you um, and that's what I have to say. Yeah. All right. Amen. Now for a tune I wrote about Amen. too drunk. <laughs> <laughs> music for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Highs and the lows. Yeah, we're starting with that and following with a bunch of, uh, bunch of reels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you'll know once what the stumbly drunk tune is over now. Like like don't. Oh, in and out, however. And What's the last one? one? <laughs> Jim Huey, Jim Paul, Francis. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
proud of yourselves. Thank you. <laughs> 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 